Hey guys, it's Flame Sheep here with Mandeprive.com. I'm here with a very, very special guest from DraftMagic.com, my friend Benny Francis. Hello. Hey. All right, we are going. This is the one. I feel. Yeah, this is the one. We've yeah, had. Yeah, right. We've had a pretty rough run of uh, collaborative drafts. Perhaps the universe is trying to tell us we <laughs> should not work together. Um. um Dragon's Mace has just been kicking my ass in general. It's tough. It's tough. I uh, let's see what we have here actually. So there's that breaking and entering again. There's breaking and entering. Scab Clan Giant, which is sweet. Jalen Sphinx, which is sweet. Thrashing Moss Dog. Fiashino First Blade. A Guild Gate. What What are your thoughts here? Um, this pack is actually really good. There's a lot of great cards in this it's pack. It's a sweet pack. Um. I, I think Jell and Sphinx and Scab Clan Giant are the two best cards in the yeah. pack. I do like them. Um, I know that we can pick up a lot of like mono green cards in this pack, yeah. like Moss Dogs and Crawl Warriors. Yeah. So maybe Scab Clan Giant's the better pick. Or we can go Jell and Sphinx and kind of go for the the um, Deputy of Acquittals thing in this pack. I So... I know we like you. You've got this. You've got a theory that taking a lot of the good mono green cards in this pack is good, and then only like mm -hmm. dipping into splash cards when needed. I I, I want to try that, and I think that this is the perfect pack for it. We have a scab clan giant. There's a possibility the moss dog will come back. It's a small one, but one, two, three, yep. four, five, six, seven. Right? Like I can almost count eight other cards people would want. Seven or eight other cards people might want. Right? Yep. Well. And then we get this pack. Yeah, that kind of changes things, doesn't it? Hmm. Um, oh, Battering Crassus is another oh, yeah? one of those mono okay. green cards that you can you can grab. I mean, if we want to like really, really stay on course um, with our first pick and like really kind of go with that green, the idea of, of keeping yeah. a green core and then seeing how the next two packs go. Um, yeah. It's the safest pick. It's not necessarily the best card. Uh, but I'm looking at this pack, and I'm not super excited. I mean, I think the... So the cards that I would be looking at would be Nivik Cyclops, Maze Glider, um, the Woodlock Crawler is pretty sweet, maybe more Burst, and the Guild Gate. But, mm -hmm. uh, I mean... So it's not even no, that great not, pack, right? right? Excuse me, maybe the Maze Glider, but... I mean, we'll see another Maze Glider if we absolutely need to, and I hate to go into three colors and two picks, so... So yep. I think this keeps us the most open, which I think is fair. I'm with you. Actually, Battering Crassus has been a... Yeah, it's been a lot more impressive for me than I ever thought it would be. Yeah, Varel can be pretty broken if you have the right deck. So I deck. think, uh, and the good thing about this is if we try to... If we cut Simic early, then mm -hmm. we get paid off in the Gate Crash packs. I like it. I think at the very least it's a three for one four, which is a good blocker, um, and it has ups. You know what? Uh, you know what's pretty insane is Varel and um, what is it? The Fathom Mage. Oh yeah, that guy's sweet. Yeah. I mean, they're both rares, so that, that's a thing. But um, Varel's good with the battering crashes yeah, that we exactly. already have. I, I think it's. I, I like it. I really do. Ooh, ooh, we're in the right colors. I think. Perfect. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we're going to take this and be um, very happy about it, right? And it's super sweet. We can put with seven mana. Yeah. Or yeah. I guess like one turn we can yeah. crash this incubation our own guy, pull it off the next turn, and then use Varel to make it four I've counters. I've done that um, on like... Uh, I even did it once on, on the Rubble Belt Rhino. Like it was pretty sweet to keep like bouncing nice. it back and making it bigger and bigger and there's nothing they can do about it. But yeah, we're we're super That's pretty happy sweet. about this. This this is a. I feel like the lights coming through the clouds, and there's the the angels are singing right now. <laughs> Species gorgeous. I see it, but I um, think we want to go crawl warrior. What do you think? Crawl warrior. Uh, um, Species gorgeous and scab clan giant are kind oh, of a fun true. little. I didn't think about that. Combo. Um, I yeah. just like, I. You know, in um, what was it, M13, they had yeah, Roaring Primadox, yeah. and they had, they had this like little weird mono green combo yeah. deck with Roaring sure. Primadox and like Elvish yeah. Visionary and stuff. I just really like the idea okay. of doing stuff like that. I think okay. it's a lot of fun, 
and a six six for five you know, is pretty I, sweet I, too. I'm sold. I actually I've I tried doing the Rory Primadox thing before, and for some reason I've always had bad luck where it happens that I can't pl- like there's that's the only card in my hand, and I can't play it now, and you know because like there's nothing on the board, and it'll just bounce itself. But I like wow, I really like where we're going here. Uh, oh gosh, that's amazing. Awesome. Um, wow, we're really set up here. Um, plus, yeah, I like where we're going here. Like, it bounces this, which is awesome. It, uh, like, it, yeah, evolve. evolve is a thing. It can bounce itself and evolve guys a bunch of times. We might get some void wielders in the third pack, right? Things like that. Like, we, we can mm-hmm. get some value off it. Uh, what do we want here? Like, a, a live and well? Um... Is Maze Behemoth the worst thing? Well, here's what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking it's, like it's, it's... So, it's good with the Species Gorger. I guess it's good with mm-hmm. all our gold cards in general. It is a six drop. Uh, but maybe it is... I mean, Alive's, Alive's a 3-3 three, three for four in this deck, right? right? Like, we can get 3-3s three, for four at any um, time. It, we, the pick could also just be gatekeepers just for the 2-4 body that evolves stuff relatively well. Uh, oh, so I really... I Did I pick it? No, I took the maze behind. I was I lagging. Hmm. Ah, well. Can't win them all. So um, take... Uh, I wonder if this is a thing. Oh. Mutants, maybe? Oh, this was the other thing I was thinking of. So I was telling you about the strategy where you're just like, we haven't seen a lot of Crawl Warriors and Moss Dogs, yep. which is unusual, because um, usually there's like you have a you would have a mm-hmm. chance at like three of each, but in that strategy like Battering Crassus, now we're already in Simic, we're gonna, we're cutting it pretty hard. Hopefully we'll get a lot of evolved creatures. Mutants Prey might actually be like good, and Nothing. what are we passing up on? Like maybe we don't play it, but I think we take the Runner's Bane here. That's a yeah, late fish. I like Burns Bane. But we're happy to pass the signal to the left. Hey, go into Boros, my friend. All right? Yeah, and there, there was another late one a couple picks back, too. So <laughs> hopefully that'll work because we, we really want to maximize those Simic cards. Oh, that's, yeah, that's better really than the Maze that, Behemoth. The leg didn't let us pick the Sunspire, gr- Sunspire dudes. Oh, yeah. It's that really guy. gatekeepers. Yeah. Ooh, another Maze uh, Mutant Spray. I think we take. Uh, but there is an Isaac sure. Killstone that helps us fix our Scab Clan Giant. I think that's a little bit better. Because oh, that's we, we can't true. guarantee we're yeah, no, plus you're one right. plus one counters on enough guys, right? So I think we just take the, uh, the fix in here. And probably the fix sure. again. Yep. It's nice that really, like, most of the other uh, clue stones were no good for us, but then just the right time they were they were the ones we wanted. Pilfer Plans in a mind stat. Like, Pilfer Plans is pretty sweet. Do we just, uh, yeah, I think we take this because it's more of a signal to go into blue than it, than the other card. Yeah, it's it's that much better than the other card. Like, I don't mind a mind static. Like, it's it's pretty much a hard counter. At, at no one's going to see that man. and be like, oh, I think blue's open. <laughs> yeah, but last they pick the pilfer, mind if static. If they see the pilfer plans, they may be like, hey, maybe I should draft a mirror in the next deck, right? In the next pack. Yeah. And you know what? Now that we're pretty heavily Simic, I don't hate Varel just as a one, just corn as a, turtle, what yeah. are they, corn I like turtle? Him. I think he's going to be awesome. Mm. <laughs> Here's our friend Lazav again, but we also have Shamble Shark, Frilled Oculus. Uh, yeah, I think those are the picks. I think Shamble Shark. I think, yeah. Especially I think with Shamble this Shark's this, the pick. We want to have the, the plus one, plus one counters, right? Yep. We want to make our deck as broken oh, as we so. possibly I can, so. right? And I hope we get paid off. I think we should. We haven't passed a lot of good Simic. We passed the Thrashing Moss Dog, but we took another good green card over it. Uh, we passed a Crawl Warrior, but I think, again, we took another good Simic card over it. Um, yeah, I think this is... I think there's... Go I on. feel like the person next to us might be going, like, Naya, so we might miss out on a couple green cards, but we'll get the, What's Naya the get? Simic like cards. Green, white? Okay. Yeah, I yep. didn't ever... Cause like like you said like there was a moss dog, there a crawl warrior, um, that's a sylvan primordial. Yeah, I guess we take it. Right? Uh, I don't. I think it. 
I think it's good enough. I think it it's pretty solid to play seven drop at least now we have like to be, one we have seven to Remember drop. that we do have a lot and of six drops, but we may not play like Maze Behemoth, and sure. I do think this is better. It's not reach as well, which is I think one of our weaknesses right now is flyers. Also, it gets kind of silly with oh, Species yeah. Gorger. Like you're just devastating oh, yeah, their you're, mana oh base. Oh my god! It's like um, what junk reanimator with acidic slime. You just keep bouncing acidic slime or keep flashing it with a uh, resto angel. This is this will be our draft yeah. version of that. <laughs> it's too bad the room. I would have oh, rather sure, an evolved yeah. creature in that pack. That's but a little scary that we didn't get, but maybe that's just can't. how the pack was. Yeah, yeah, some of the packs just don't have them, right? Like that's part of the danger of of Dragon's Maze. Oh, well, I don't think we need another six drop. It's a, Hands up. It's a decent oh, one. In that it, gee. It's another way to kind of like throw our guys in the air, right? I like it better than yeah. Maze Behemoth if we're gonna play. And I think it's you know, better. Six drop. Than, and there's no like I think two. Yeah, yeah. There's no two drop creature, or three drop, or four drop creature that. The other. Th the other in thing I'm thinking about is Verdant. So. <laughs> but, but we have a couple of clue mm -hmm. stones that does the same job, right? All right. Yeah. Oh. Um, and we may end up needing to ramp a little bit, but. I like it. It's a fun card. Yeah. Versus. Burst of Strength is kind of uh, fun Burrell with Burrell. And the Mutant's um, Prey, but, and there's a Grizzly Salvage or a Spectacle here that's worth noting, but we can't play it. But we can play Mystic Genesis. Right? I like Mystic Genesis, oh, especially wait, now like Gorger, games go Mystic longer. Genesis? People are... Softlock? Oh, shit, mean? no. I, th I, I thought it was a Mystic... I thought it was like Mystic Snake and it comes down as a creature. Never mind. No, no, oh, it's actually a Oh, that would be boat. silly. You bounce it and you lose your token. That's even worse. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. But there, I, I like, yeah, I like the yeah. Gruul Gate better than the Watcher. Like, yeah. we're going to need creatures, but that Guild Gate lets us put that Scab Clan Giant right in there really easily. Oh, I got, oh, uh, I wish this was Mystic Snake. Then that would have been a real combo. Hmm. Well, we're getting boned here. Um... Not, not really okay. bond. Our, our deck's still looking amazing. okay. We just aren't to be getting our pack, right? Like we're not getting yeah. cards for our pack. Uh, I like Aetherize yeah. better than Spire Tracer. Yeah, this is a bit of a bummer though. Because mm -hmm. like Aetherize, I don't really like that card that much. No, I I've had a lot of All good right. experiences <clears> with it. Well, they. Like, you just sandbag it until they try and alpha strike you for the win, and then fling all their cards back to their sure. hand, and then you kill them. That's yeah, that's how that, I've I mean, used that's, it, right? That's a fair use for it. So I'd say it's Ivy Lane or the Gruel Charm here. Uh, we have one, two, three, four. Yeah. Every creature, plus we yeah, have I Species think, Gorger. I like yeah, Denizen and yeah, Varel. We're, we're yeah. yeah, Denizen's, Denizen's really pretty nice good. Here. I still don't think it's enough to go mutant spray. That's sad. Like That's I don't think bad. we have enough. Maybe we get we get a couple yeah. late cards, but That's too bad. Uh we can't really play Ooze Flux, can we? Which is too bad. Can we? Wait, how um, many how many plus one plus one counter things do we have? So this is almost one. That's like half of one. This is like half of one. <laughs> No. The reason that yeah, ooze flux gets good well. when it's evolving creatures. You're removing the counters yeah. and then re-evolving the creatures, prism. right? Sure. I mean, it's almost a free card in this format. So slow, right? Or it's not so slow, but it's a slower format. So we can probably play it on turn two and not feel like we're too far behind. Helps us fix our mana. Ooh, yep. frill Doculus came back as well as a key rune. But I think we're just gonna take the frill Doculus here. That card's sweet. Oh yeah, the Oculus is super sweet. That was nice. Yeah, so I that think was it, really I nice think, that that wield. I think this just didn't have the cards for us, this pack. Right? Yeah, I think so. I think it's better than Denizen? the Hydroform here, yeah. right? Also oh, yeah. a Species Gorger yeah, combo. Right. Man, I love that. I love Species I'm, Gorger. I'm turning around on it. Like, it definitely, every time I see it on the other side, it's beat me. 
but I just keep thinking of my experiences drafting growing Primadox and it just doesn't work for me. But I think that was yeah. it's a very small sample size. I'm sure that this time it's going to do beautiful things that will bring tears hopefully to the eyes of those who watch it. Um, <laughs> this pack, whatever, right? Like, I just want to. Yeah, this is awful. Um, I just want to point out that Mortar Strider is actually a lot better now, and the reason oh, yeah. is because Maze Abomination. Sure, yeah. Ooh, that came back. That is... Oh, that that's so sweet. Happy. Hey. Tower defense for the sideboard. That's actually... It's, yeah. I've been blown Heck out yeah. by tower defense before. It's one of those cards that you're like, really? He's playing tower defense? And then you realize like it's decent as a sideboard card, and it can. It's it's fantastic yeah, against like Azorius Fires. Okay, well you know what I think you're right. I think we're we're getting past the cards are wheeling. Nobody's taking the cards we want out of the packs for our deck. There just weren't cards there Real. for us to begin with. So Mizium Mortars that we, I mean we're on the we can splash it. We'll never we'll never we overload it. Is it that I, much better? It's probably not a bad thing to pick I'm, anyways, right? It's removal. It's better than... I mean, we. I guess we could play an Axe Bane. Or a, be a Beetle mm -hmm. is actually something we could play. Or even an Aerial Predate. Yeah. Beetle's kind of cool with... Like, Scavenge is kind of cool in our deck. But I, I do, too. I, I like the Mortars. I think you're right. No. We're never Maybe over... There's ever a possibility we'll it, be able to... I doubt it, but like, let's say one, two, three, four, five... No, we're not. Yeah, this pack's that. not super okay. strong. But Mortars is pretty sweet. Mortars hey, is a respectable a board, splash. The Void Wielder we were talking about. Um, there's also Gulgari Long Legs. Perfect. Which is sweet in our deck. Um, but I think we want the Void Wielder here, right? Although there's something By to be far. said about a Maze Glider and a Gulgari Long Legs in the same deck. So that's a. Mm -hmm. But I think that there's a higher chance that I agree. legs would come back than a void wielder, right? Slash, uh, or, or, yeah. or just that we'll yeah, see I, the long legs. I I have no argument with this pick. I think, like, there are definitely points towards the 5-4 the who's a bit of a beast and, yeah, has some upside with Maze Glider, but... I think that Void Wielder has enough of an effect, especially with tokens being a little more prominent. Is not for oh, us. Oh, this pack. I mean, maybe it can splash with the explosive like, impact. We could take a key rune if we really wanted to. I don't think we do. Although we do again, we do have a bit of a heavy top end, but I don't think it's it warrants No, I don't think it warrants. We can't we we can't splash Grove, right? No, like the problem is because it's that's not on the table. To land. Right, so it takes away a land, a colored land from us, and then we have to put in white. Right, I know yeah. this card's sweet. I wish. So I'm looking at I'm looking at Vassal Soul here, or like the Vassal Ezekiel Soul, or the Explosive Impact. You like Vassal Soul? Um, I like Impact too. I we already so, have yeah, three so six drops and a seven drop. Card. Brings up our Shamble Shark as well in our Battering Basis. Mm -hmm. no. Not to. Not irrelevant at all. Another yes, Void Wielder? That is so sweet. I, I don't see the world that you wouldn't. Like, Skyline Predator, nice yeah. card. Again, we, we have are, a lot of... We are we're stacked, stacked on, on six-drop big it's, flyers. It is my concern. Um, and Void Wielder adds to it. Nivix Guild Mage is a, Nivix. is a consideration, but it is our spot color, right? Yeah. I yeah, think so. I think that's a pretty easy Void Wielder. Um, here, Aerial Predation, maybe? Or an Action Injunction? Like, I think we have enough playables that we don't need to, to throw in an Action Injunction, right? I think so. It's it's good. Like, we I don't like have predation. much defense against Flyers until we get to 7 mana, so. Uh, I like Giant Growth, actually. Yeah, I was going to go to the Gi Tower Drake, but I think Giant Growth is actually better. We need some tricks. There's also Teleportal. Yeah, it's worth considering. Um, like, it'll win the game. Yeah, it's I It's another like, five drop, basically, though. I think basically, the Giant though. is just a little bit more versatile here. Yeah. I think, I think Pump Effects, yeah. like, Blood Rush is so scary that 
I think it just says something about how mm-hmm. good pump effects and are that's in only, this form. And that's such a, it's a narrow that. pump effect too, right? Like it has to be only on, on attacking creatures, but still so good. Yeah, Blood Rush is crazy. Yeah. Wow, a third Void Wielder? Maybe we should have taken that Golgari Long Legs. I guess no, so, eh? But you, like, you can't predict uh, stuff like that. I don't know what else we take. Like an action injunction, maybe? If we... I, right, because I, I, we're I not would, playing three uh, Blood Wielders. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't think um, we're playing an in action injunction <laughs> either, to be fair. Um, so maybe we just I, take... So maybe we just take the Void Wielder anyways. What I was just going to say, yeah. Because I don't think any of these cards are worth hating. Yep, I'm fine with that. Psychic yeah. Spiral is in Return to Ravnica, right? I I think that Probably. there's a mill deck to be had. <laughs> I know that we're not going to play this at 6 mana, but I, 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 I'm tickled by the idea of this. Plus, you know, Voral and our Mutant's Prey, and we've got like mm-hmm. all this other stuff that kind of wants plus one, plus one counters. Do we just take the Mizium skin as like a sideboard card if he has a lot of removal? Yeah, we're not playing Death's Presence, I don't think. I would love to. I'm this I'm exactly the same page that you are. I like it, but yeah, Mizium skin's fine. Yeah. You could do worse. Ooh. Like this pack, for um, example. The best cards in the pack would be like the Hussar Patrol, the spawn. Ba, ba, ba. We'll take away the Hussar Patrol. I guess we have more problems with the spawn. Sure. Though. Yeah, spawn's actually better against us. Yeah, we can block Hussar Patrol Here, all day. We, we can't really spawn. block spawn. I was hoping it yeah. would wheel, actually. It, it might be decent in the it. deck. We'll like just a, growth for the just a little board, tempo, you know? Works for me. <laughs> Every time I see Sphere of Safety, and I like, it's just not uh, the format you can play it in, right? Uh, rescue yeah, we'll just take the, is really good. Yeah, we'll just take the rescue away from someone. That's right? a really late rescue. Like, uh, this is okay. So that it, like, this is another example of. I can see that we probably cut blue pretty hard. Like, it doesn't look like anybody else is particularly <coughs> yeah. into playing blue. Which makes sense why some of the Azorius cards wield, but were there a lot of white cards for us to be picking? I'm trying to think. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like, where 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 yeah, are we I supposed to read that signal um, from? There were a lot of good white cards, and maybe maybe it would have been prudent for us to kind of like move move into white instead of red for our splash, but. I don't, it's I don't know. very tough. I think we did. It's tough. I think we did a decent job with the cards that we were passed. Like, we went for a, a gate crash guild, which is sort of the safe move, right? I think is now a f- widely believed to be the case. Um, we clearly mm-hmm. got a lot of good cards in the in those colors. I mean, having triple void wielder says something, right? That like no one else is playing blue, maybe. Like, that's yeah. 23 without any clue stones. Uh, I feel like maybe we want to play one, at least one. Like, with, with, like, four or five drops, maybe we do that and put a clue stone in. Uh, I guess... Yeah, that's not bad. I don't I don't think we You really don't want to play that Aetherize. No, we don't need Aetherize. We've got Void Builders for days. Or do you like the... You like the cancel in there? Um, I think... I, I do like cancel. I I, I guess the other option see it being spray. cut. That's I'm not sad ske- about it being cut. That's a sketchy. Um, that's a such sketchy pick that I, I thought like. Oh yeah, take okay, mutants spray. Amazing pick, and then we can. In yeah. a lot, yeah. That card's gonna be dead, and I like prophetic prism better than another clue stone. Like I know you want clue stone because it gives us mana. Yeah. It ramp. It skips our four drop, which we don't even yeah, have that many is, of. And yeah. and gets us into five real quick, which is, is where we want to be. I like the idea. Yeah, so maybe it's better to play the clues down then. Which is where, yeah, it's like where the money is, right? If like five, six, seven is where our money is, and we want to be there. Mm-hmm. Um, this looks nice, though. I'm afraid to say that because I felt like we felt that way about other decks. Yeah, and it's sort of let us down. A I mean, couple I'd love times. To play a third void wielder. 
can we can we do it? Can we just push the, the limits here and, and play one more and maybe say no to God? I don't know. Like I, I think I want to keep our our uh, like the first part of our the first half of our curve the same, right? Like I like this. Yeah. Maybe play like I can see yeah. third void wielder over cancel. Let's do it. I think. I think Genesis has enough upside a, a that real it's worth keeping in over in cancel. Of, like I just play this card every time I have it, regardless of whether I think it's the right thing. And I, I do think that in this format, it's better because there will be more people playing like curves like this, where they have more mm -hmm. five drops, more six drops. Like they're going to be playing the primordials. They're going to be playing seven drops, right? And this gets them and gets like a seven seven on the f like that's a yep. huge hit. Oh, five five a four four. Even a 5-5. Five, five. Four, four, I'm happy. Like, like such a huge just, tempo yeah, hit. It just gets them. Like, right when we get to 5 mana, that's when they mm -hmm. start to drop their bombs, right? Okay, let's look at the color sorts here. Yep. Uh, we have one red card. We already have, oh, yeah, we have a, gate, a right. guild gate for it. Um, we have more We have more blue cards, and one of them is yeah. a double blue. Yeah, and... The Two of them are double blue, and one's we have a double green, but we don't really need to worry about so the fact that that costs double green. Um, um, so I agree. I, I agree. We need feel like one blue. mountain is probably is pretty safe. Oh, because of this, uh, and then we have more blue than green, right? So this would be six, seven, eight green sources, and this is eight, nine, ten blue sources, and three red sources. That sounds pretty good, yeah. I like it. Well, it actually asks us Sometimes for Sometimes Modo knows but, what's, what it's doing. But uh, besides that, let's pretend that it thought that that was a mountain, then yeah. <laughs> I, I do like the suggest as a... Yeah, well, you... you oh, whoa. You can't hold there? it against it. Also, we're one land short. We can put another land in. Oh, okay. Because uh, you took away the planes, but never I added an extra land Anyways, in. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight. We might as well go nine. Yeah, let's just go nine forest, ten. I, I island. vote forest. That's sweet. Yeah, because shamble shark you want early, beetle form mage you want early, um, all that kind of good stuff, right? You want to be able to That's double sweet. do your crassus incubation t two times like, in a turn, I'm, like this is cast nice. it and like pull it, it back. Like I'm, yeah, I'm afraid to say it, but because we know what happens. But I like this deck a lot. I I do like it. I think it's got enough upside here to really make a difference here yeah 16 creatures is a nice count too i i mean three of the creatures are void wielders so and they're not very aggressive time and time but again they help that, our other guys get through uh, pretty nice auras so. are like really really a thing in this draft format like there's so many good ones madcap skills uh the new armadillo cloak mm -hmm. or uh gift of orzova um uh, what's oh spirit mantle you can't or whatever that spirit mantle type card is you can't really bounce it because it's pro creatures right what's it called holy mantle holy mantle yeah um holy mantle yep yeah i just always remember yeah. you named one of your videos oh, i missed that holy I, I wish mantle, I, should, Batman. Uh, I should try to get that on man deprived now love the puns but anyways um this is our deck i'm pretty excited about it it's very simicky very cool yeah Last thoughts on it before we send off to the next round. I'm liking it. <laughs> oh, um, Mizzy oh, Mortars. Oh, Mizzy Mortars. Yeah. That's so now a we can sad, play but I'm also a little happy. Right? I'm relieved because it's cutting down on the on the top end, giving us something really sweet. So do we have enough red though now? I think so, right? Three red sources for two. Um. Three red sources, yeah. <laughs> maybe we, we overloaded in the game. To Who knows? All right. Uh, what were we? Ten nine, right? Yeah. No, all right. And add another mountain in. No, we should. Um, we have Sylvan Prayer. I don't think we need to, but we can. Okay, I like this. Good catch. I always do that. I always leave like yeah. one random card that's awesome in the sideboard. So. Oof. 
I did a draft the other day and left a, a far and away in the, my sideboard. Yeah, the split cards are tricky, right? Because they you see only top they some, sometimes those the split cards hide hide from you, right? Definitely playing that color, and I don't know. It, that's yeah, the split cards are tricky. All right, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you on the other side in round one. All right, I like it.